This might just be my favorite. <laughs> Welcome to First News at Four I've ever done, Kevin. We're not in North Dakota anymore. Jody, this is simply amazing from Mesa, Arizona. It is just a delight to be here at a picnic that's about all things North, North Dakota, Dakota people. Yes. It's amazing. So great. What a great event. How, did, how have we never been here before? I don't know, but hopefully there are many future <laughs> endeavors that involve yes. us here, right? Yes. I mean, there have to be thousands of people here. It's North Dakota picnic in Mesa, Arizona, where obviously the weather odds are going to be a lot better here than they are in North Dakota, of course, dealing with a winter storm here the past yeah. couple of days and high wind. Uh, things are getting better, but there's some residuals, right? But here it's a bluebird chamber of commerce kind of day, 70 degrees, a very light breeze. You can kind of just make out how nice it is. That's why it's here. I mean, I get it. I never really understood the snowbird thing. I get it. Now we get it. This is why you want to retire down south somewhere. And we've learned some new terms too, like yes. a rounder. Like what's, what's a rounder? rounder? Yes. Oh, that's when you are from North Dakota, but you now live here year round in Arizona. And you're a rounder. But you never give up those North Dakota roads. I think that's been the coolest thing that people have said is that, well, I grew up in Botano, but I've lived here for 30 years, but Botano is still home, right? Or whatever, insert North Dakota town here. Yeah. So true. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And we've got somebody that's going to tell us a lot more about yeah. what this whole thing is yes. all about, which yes. we're really excited to introduce. Yes. So Kevin Dvorak is with the North Dakota Community Foundation, and they're the ones that put this all on. Without them, we wouldn't have an excuse to come to Mesa. So thank you so much <laughs> yeah, thank for you, what Kevin. you do, Kevin. You're very welcome. <laughs> we're happy to have you here. Talk, let's let's talk about this picnic a little bit. You guys have been doing it for a few years, but it, it's been around for a long time. It started as a potluck. 56 or seven years ago and uh, over time it got more and more organized and, and people took over. The Village Family Service Center out of Fargo was, was managing it for a while. They had an office manager who retired here and she and her husband organized the whole thing. 2018 they called us and said, well, Dorothy and Mike are getting a little old and they would prefer not to do this any longer. Could you guys take it over? And we want, uh, well, getting North Dakota people together in a very nice place and uh, getting a chance to talk with them and, and, and visit with them was right in line with our strategic plan. And so here we are. Here we are. And um, you told us last year, probably about 3,000 people. How are we doing on attendance this year? Well, I, you know, we don't have an official count, but it, it appears that it's every bit of 3,000 and probably a bit more uh, because the congestion in the, in the uh, booths and that sort of thing is just is terrific. And so I think you guys were part of it because I know you promoted it for us for quite a bit, so we appreciate that as well. <laughs> well, it's been a wonderful uh, day, uh, Kevin, and so many vendors. And, uh, and as far as your involvement, uh, and how long has this been going on with the North Dakota Community Foundation? We took over in 2018, so we, we missed one COVID year, but we've been doing it every year since 2018. And you've, Wonderful. you've kind of got a, a well-oiled machine like yeah. you guys it's know exactly what amazing. to do and where things go. Well, we, I, I've got a great staff. <laughs> Christy's been amazing. Yeah, Chris, and Christy and Deb and Amy. Everybody, Amy, all yeah, of them. Yeah, they've all done just terrific. And uh, so it's nice to come down and the volunteers are in place. All of the rentals are in place. Uh, the traffic control, the parking. We have to rent the high school parking lot because there are so many people that come and then we have to rent golf carts to bring people back and forth. All those kind of things, and that's a lot of detail work that we have to do, but it's, it's well worth it. We get the entertainment, and that's been terrific, North Dakota-based entertainment. Uh, so we're, we're very happy about that as well. I do want to say, oh, I'm sorry, Jody. Well, oh. Go ahead, I, I I'll, gonna, wait, I'll wait my turn. Well, no, <laughs> before I forget this thought, because I'm getting old, right? And that is yesterday, all the volunteers, there, there was a brunch for volunteers, yeah. and. Um, I don't even know how many, obviously you would know that, but all the ones with the yellow shirts all, all over are taking their time to, to volunteer and just direct people and what to do. It's a well-oiled machine, as Jody said. It is, and, and many of those were in place even before we started and we built on that. Uh, I, had, I talked with one of the golf cart drivers today. He said he saw his high school principal, hadn't seen him in over 50 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
Oh, I love that. Yeah. There's so many stories like there that. Are. People that haven't seen each other for 20 years and they turn around and there they are. Or this group that, that all plans to come together, right? High school classmates oh, sure. and so many great stories. Did I hear you say, Kevin, you are Kevin Dvorak, not Kevin Lawrence. You're a North Dakota native. I grew up in Minto, North Dakota. I've been in Bismarck since 1976. So this is fun for you probably to reconnect with people? Oh yes, I've, I've seen people I haven't seen in a very long time. I had a fellow introduce himself, he remembered from high school, from a, a guy from Northwood, and it's like, oh, okay, nice to see you. <laughs> it was terrific. That's so amazing. That's the thing we love about North Dakota is we're all connected, right? So I don't great. think other states, I'm sure they have events like this, but there's just something about North Dakota that it's it's a close knit yeah. community statewide. Yes. And that's what this is all about. It, absolutely. It's a people have described North Dakota as a small town with very long streets and uh, <laughs> it it certainly holds true today. That is so true, Kevin. Well, so thank much. you for your time. Very well. wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for having us here today and for sharing some history of the picnic. We have a lot more though to talk about, so stick around. We'll be right back. You're watching KFYR First News at 4.